Other, if you want to be adventure rider, you should adhere to the fundamentals, basic needs, the requirements of safety features. A boot is very, very essential. It is different from the ordinary soft boot. And your ankle, your knees, your hip, your back, your shoulder, your elbows, your wrist, all has to be protected. And with that only, you venture into the world of really, really adventure. Because this is very fatal. You don't know what will happen next moment. And before that, you should really develop the fundamental skill, slow driving. The clutch controlling, that is the friction zone technique. Your bike should never fall. You should exactly understand the fundamental theory behind it. And then practice and practice, you should make it perfect. Then only you go to the wild, the terrain, the trails, the gravels, the sands, the rocks, the water, the mud, and the forest as I am here. But don't joke yourself. And particularly once you are in the 60s and 70s, majority will never think about it, dream about it. But some daredevils like me and so many other great people in Australia and America, they still have the drive. A rider is always a rider because the test of the charm and the joy and the pleasure being in the nature, in the hills, in the mountains, in the forests, can never resist their temptation to really even risk their life. So here I go, my friend. Thank you. This is Adventure Rider, Pandit Fakir Yogi Vrindir Yogi or his Suzuki V-Strom. All the series of Suzuki V-Stroms I own, 250, 650, 1000 D, just been booked and 1050, 800D, and all these are wonderful bikes. I just rely on Suzuki. Thank you, viewers.
onwards, it is very difficult to make it neutral from first gear to second gear. Thank you. I just demonstrated you slow speed, just friction zone, applying your rear brake and throttle minimum power supplying because these SUV, these SUV that is uh, my passion four wheelers, but these adventure bikes, they are very heavy bikes, they have enough torque. This is 250cc so it has only 22.2 newton meter of torque. But if you go for heavy bikes like you know what I have got 800D that has got 84 bhp and 78 newton meter of torque. So these bikes can pull itself. Uh, you need not uh, accelerate. Did not uh, depend on your throttle. But uh, weaker bikes. This is the baby V strong. So it has very little. So you have to give some throttle and the friction zone. It can never fall. The moment you give power by controlling the clutch. There is a friction zone, the bike will keep moving forward. That I have mastered and my teacher has been one of the great Russian, that is uh, Budrov. And uh, his channel is Moto Control, one of the great human being, affectionate, loving, very compassionate. And uh, also some of the Americans, like be the boss of your own bikes and Motor Titsu, so many other uh, references I have seen on YouTube. And then I have really tried to master myself. That's why you see in the shorts. I am sure I will never fall. The more you practice, the more consistent you become and the more confidence you gain. You will never fall if you have mastered the skill of friction zone management technique. Thank you viewers.